happy Monday. Um, you guys, I have been trying to load <laughs> this little vloggy vlog from last week for what feels like hours. It's been an hour and 20 minutes, um, but I don't know if we'll be able to ed do more edits on my big ass computer anymore. Anyway, it's Monday. Um, weekend was good. Saturday, I ended up uh, teaching a class, which was super fun. And then um, we had a birthday party to go to for my niece. And then Sunday, I went and I hung out with my nieces because I am tired of being a piss poor aunt. Yeah. Um, no, but really, I went to go see my youngest like one of my younger nieces, um, she just turned eight, well, not just turned 18, she turned 18 last year, but she just graduated high school and she's going off to college. And like during her developmental years as like a youth, I was like, life was lifing me, right? Like I became a single parent and then it was like, I, um, got married, then I was moving and just a lot of stuff happened where I was not able to show up and be like, a present person in her life which I feel terrible about because if I'm being completely honest I feel that way often um by my like as myself right and I hate that like I kind of gave her that kind of experience like she never even thought about me like living in Atlanta and she was like yeah I was just um think of you as living in New York and I'm like girl your entire life I've lived between 20 to 40 minutes away from you and I'm not proud of that, but whatever. So I worked on that, developing that relationship because I think it's important. Family is very important to me. And as the younger sibling to like the golden child sibling, I was like, I don't want her to feel that way. So I made it a priority to go and hang out with her. Now it's Monday. This week I'm dedicating to, as far as like clothing wise and making wise, we're going to be focusing on planning out my wardrobe because you guys I it's just awful I have coined a new term for me and we're going to be starting a new series and it's be called, going to be called from Pinterest inspiration to closet manifestation she did that <laughs> that is so cute <laughs> that is so cute anyway so we're going to start working on that so today I feel like I'm going to start filming for that as well um because one, we've got to get through this fabric. Two, I have classes that I'm teaching these garments for. And before I teach a class on a garment, I like to make sure that I have made the garment so that I can wear it to teach so that people have the inspiration that they need to finish the garment, right? So I've got to factor those things in as well. So I'm really excited to get started with that. For right now though, I'm editing the vloggy vlog. Okay, so while these files are taking forever to go ahead and render, do whatever the hell they have to do, I've got a bunch of things that I have to fold up, but I went thrifting and I've been meaning to show you guys what I got because I'm going to be using them for some thrift flips. So first up, I got this sheet set in this blue gingham. Not only is it super soft, but it's not see-through, so it's not something that I have to worry about like having an extra lining underneath in order for it to work. So that one was the first one, which is super cute. I also got, because apparently I'm in my blue era right now, in addition to my green, I got this really cute, um, it's got like these really light colors on them. I love it. And y'all, sorry about this, the shifting of the camera. I can't figure out how to turn it off. The like moving with me. Sorry about that. Then I also got, this is just the pillowcase for the sheet set, but I got these stripes, which so fantastic. Um, so of course got the sheet set in that. Listen, these sheets are so soft. I feel like the, I feel like the video, this vlog is never going to get done in truth. And then I also got this lace and I want to say it's like a tablecloth so we'll see what we can do with this but look at how like look at how pretty the details are of this lace right so in the middle yeah this has to have been a tablecloth because 
wow, is this like... It's definitely celebrating Jesus' birth. I love that for us. I'm not exactly sure if that was what I was thinking when I bought this. But there it is, right in the middle. Jesus Christ Day. I'm like, do we cut that tablecloth up? Or like, what do we do with that? Also, who was just putting that in to the like donate bin? I guess. Anyway, I digress. Then I also got, I'm still laughing about it. I got this white situation as well. I love this texture that it has. I think it's really, really cool. Um, so I can't wait to make something with this. I don't even know why I got so much white because Lord knows your girl can't keep white clean. And then I don't plan, I don't know if I plan on cutting this up or not, but I also found this as well. And I love it because we've of course have this side, but then we also have kind of like this inverted situation on the back. So I got each of those for like three or four dollars for the sets and really proud of myself and cannot wait to create with them. Um, I feel like y'all it's like this is taking forever. <laughs> Tuesday and I hope my husband put the trash out today anyway it's 8 30 I should have been up and moving by now I was not because I decided to stay in the bed um because full disclosure yesterday was a lot um physically I was in pain a lot of pain all day yesterday um I opted out of taking a Tylenol simply because I don't want my liver to be like upset because I had some liver issues like a couple years ago and I just don't want them to come back <laughs> and Tylenol affects your liver whereas ibuprofen affects your kidneys so we're just going no pain meds at all um and today is my middle child's 10th birthday last night I had a um minor major breakdown because um her hair is locked and I just finished paying to have her hair done so that she had fresh back to school hair and fresh birthday hair which all kind of got ruined because she went to me over the weekend and I don't want her to have a complex about her hair but also I don't have four hours to sit and redo her hair because I just don't have the time um so yeah it was a lot. There was a lot of crying yesterday for me. Um, and then of course we got her birthday door ready where we did, you know, very, uh, throwback to 10 things I hate about you, but 10 things we love about you. Um, and she got her very first phone, but, um, lots of feelings, lots of emotions definitely makes it kind of hard. But today I've got that lymphedema clinic. So this morning I happened to start binge watching videos of this really thin woman who had lipedema, which is different than lymphedema um, because of how the fat molecules are affected and everything like that, fat cells or whatever. So it was interesting to learn about that as well. Um, but I'm running behind. And then tomorrow, like to, this week is like, I don't want to say it's a bust work-wise, but it kind of is like, I don't have a lot of time to, to do a lot of things I need to get done for work, but we're gonna make it happen because that's what we do. But, um, tomorrow my husband and I are doing an all day taping for a show that I can't tell you about just yet. As soon as I'm allowed to, I surely will, but I need to have three outfits that are ready to go and they need to be solids and they need to be in color and I don't know what I'm going to wear. So, um, yeah, 
there's nothing like the um, pattern designer or the fashionista having nothing to wear. Anyway, I've got to go get dressed and ready to go. Okay, so I got myself together, but I wanted to show you guys um, my daughter's little poster board that we put together for her. So this is what it looks like. <clears throat> and it's 10 things we love about Aurora. And each of these balloons is something that we love about her. So I thought that was fun. I thought for sure I was going to wake up. Oh God, sorry about that. I thought for sure I was gonna wake up to a lot of like balloon popping. <sighs> Navigating the steps is hard, um, but she didn't even pop a balloon. I feel like I'm running late now, but I also put things on my calendar with enough time for me to run late and actually be running on time. So I don't know. No time for coffee at home. Hopefully time for coffee. Oh, fuck. Oh, that hurt. Um, on a little Star Starby's break. Who knows? Who knows? So got to go. Got to go to Models. Uh, I've seen lots. How's it work? It's a video. <laughs> like, how, do you, how do you receive that video you from receive? that thing and how does it get onto your phone with a cord where right there oh okay because <laughs> you know so i'm back home obviously um i feel like i don't feel well and when I went to my doctor, my white blood cells came back really elevated, but that was like two, almost three weeks ago. So I still feel like not the greatest. And I'm wondering if something greater is wrong with me. Like I need just any other like kind of ailment, but recap from the doctor's office, this was a clinic like it was a um it was almost like speed dating where you got an opportunity to meet all of these different providers that provide support for people who have lymphedema and it was a really really great experience i met some really great providers i felt seen i felt heard i felt acknowledged i shared with them my experience with the nurse practitioner in that office and how you know, I felt like a freak of nature after I was done with her and they were like, one, you should never feel that way. Like no matter what, like, you know, you're beautiful. Your legs are beautiful. Like everything is fine. Like don't let someone discourage you, etc." And it felt good to kind of hear that because they work in this field and they work with people who do this all the time. But I got a couple of different solutions, um, not solutions necessarily, but things that will help with managing lymphedema, which is fantastic. Um, so now it's just like the waiting game to kind of see what my insurance is going to cover. Um, but also new development. Um, I have not officially been diagnosed with this, but every single practitioner that I saw today was like, mm, it looks like you actually have lipedema as well. So of course, lymphedema and lipedema are very different. Lymphedema, of course, is about the fluids in your body not properly being able to kind of make their flow right through the lymphatic system. So uh, it causes swelling because the fluid buildup gets there's some congestion that happens, etc. Whereas lipedema is when you have fat deposits that tend to be a little bit on the more painful side that you can't do anything about to get rid of. And um, one of the practitioners was like, can I ask you a couple of personal questions? And I was like, look, I got three kids. There is nothing that is off the table. I don't know what CMI is. So she was like, every time you go to the doctor, they tell you that, that you need to lose weight. And I was like, fuck yes, all the time. And she was like, and do you find it hard to lose weight? I was like, absolutely. No matter what I do, I could starve myself. I could not starve myself. I could work out, you know, all day, every day. And m m the scale just does not move. So um, she was like, yeah. She was like, you have classic symptoms of lipedema. And not that this is something that I would ever want, but I do feel validated in my health because 
going to my PCP and I started seeing her last year, I was telling her, I was like, nothing that I do to try to lose weight is working. I eat clean. I work out. I do cardio. I lift weights. I am trying all these different ways and nothing is working. And I'm really trying to lose weight because I have to have my ovaries removed as part of bracket two. And of course, going through menopause, there is weight gain. And I was just like, starting out with what my starting weight was 40 pounds ago is not really where I want to start out with weight gain for menopause. Um, so I felt validated and yeah, so, um, just now it's really just the waiting game either way in like four weeks, three to four weeks. Again, I've got to, um, go in for these four procedures for my legs. Then I've got, um, to hear back for some of these items for whether or not my insurance is going to cover them. Otherwise it's like out of pocket, which is hella expensive. So update for today, but I'm going to see if I can just take a power nap or just like close my eyes for a second to try to get some energy back so that we can finish celebrating my middle baby's 10th birthday. But right now mommy is like done, put a fork in me. I know that this is drama, but I swear I've never been so tired in my life. It's 5.30 on the morning on Wednesday. Yeah, already know I'm not a morning person. Don't come for me. Um, And it is the morning we're supposed to go and do our taping for the show that cannot be identified just yet. And I tell you guys that, like, I'm literally like, what is life? Did I just like rip out my console phones? Oh, fuck. Listen, one of these days I'm gonna be a 5 a.m. person. Today is not the day. So, I'm currently responding to comments on the blog for last week. And y'all are, are literally the best. That's, I just don't know what else to say aside from that. But, um, you all's comments literally put a smile on my face. So thank you so much for taking the time to leave me comments, to share your well wishes and things like that. I so appreciate it. Um, today was super fun doing the, um, okay, so I can share with you guys the show now. So my husband and I were on a Pictionary and you know, they film locally in Atlanta um, and so we were invited. I was cast via Instagram and you guys, I had so much fun. Um, my husband and I are killer at like taboo and stuff like that. We love games. Um, it was such a fantastic experience. Like Jerry O'Connell, one of the nicest people in the world. He was so kind. One of the things that's really big to me as someone who has like a different name, um, is when people really take the time out to make sure they get your name um, pronunciation correct. And then they don't allow for the for like us to be like, oh, it's okay. Um, there were quite a few uh, different names that were said. And Jerry O'Connell practiced, made sure he got it right. And then if he got it wrong and the person was like, it's okay. He was like, no, we're going to do a retake because I'm going to get your name right. Like, this is important. And I have so much appreciation for that because Jerry O'Connell has been in the acting game for a very long time. And for someone else, not just like a big time actor or anything like that, but just for another person, period, to make it a priority to get the pronunciation of someone else's name right. Um, top tier human. I love that. And I really enjoyed my interactions with him. My husband and I, we had a fantastic time. Our air date, we don't have the specific air date yet, but we're looking at a time that is after um, September 9th. And yeah, so as of course, as I have more details about that, I will definitely be sharing them with you. Um, my leg was okay. I wore my flamingo uh, compression socks to the taping and I, if I'm being completely honest, I felt a little awkward. So it's like, why, you know, having your socks seen is not a mandatory thing. I ended up wearing jeans and a shirt that I had just made. Um, it's up on my Instagram and it's, 
um, Double Ugly Studio. They just dropped, she just dropped the Sour Cherry Top and I was in the tester group. And the test, I did the test, it was fantastic. I love this top, love it. We're gonna do a sew along for it too. And um, so I wore that with some jeans. Now listen, since losing weight, I have not put on or tried on very many jeans or anything like that. So trying to make sure that something fit was a little awkward for me. Um, so my socks could be seen ultimately. Um, mm -mm, no, no. What are you all supposed to be doing right now? Oh, I was just want to wash mm -hmm. Let's go and take care of the things that we have to do so that we can make have time to do the things that we want to do, right? Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and knock that out very quickly. Okay. Did we wash our hands when we got home? I did. Okay. Because I went pee. Mm -hmm. I Are you lying to me? No, I, because you, no, because when when I was doing laundry, uh, I had to wash my hands. Excellent. Okay. So, please make sure that there are no bowls or cups in your room. Okay. There's one. Okay. Excellent. Then it's and and a tool. Um, I also see a white bowl in there as well. So I, let's go ahead and knock out those things, okay? Thank you so much. Um, the hardest part this was this morning, and it was having to get up and get our kids to my best friend's house so that she could take them to school. You guys, my family and I are not morning people. In this junk at this juncture, at what time is this? Six thirty in the evening, y'all. We are struggling. We are struggling. Like, nobody is getting along. Everybody is overtired. Everybody is cranky. All I want to do is hop in the shower and take a hot shower because my face does not feel great. My leg is actually not in too much pain, if I'm being completely honest, which is surprising. But, yeah, um, I still don't feel well. So, there's that. So, now I'm going to go ahead and um, knock out some work because yesterday we know that I did not was not able to get a whole lot of work done. Today, obviously, I was not able to get a whole lot of work done. I want to make sure that I respond to comments. Responding to comments is something that's important to me because I really appreciate it when you all take the time to leave a comment. So I want to make sure that I honor that energy that you all give to me. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Happy Thursday. I didn't realize how crazy I looked until I just turned this camera on because I still haven't looked at myself in the mirror yet this morning. I'm having a hard time um, finding the motivation to work right now. Sometimes what happens with me is that if I have um, a lot of things going on or like I'm planning for a lot of things, I get overwhelmed and I go into like a catatonic state where I just want to do nothing. Also, I feel like... Um, I have like a little cold that's developing and that doesn't feel amazing. Um, but I have a lot of things going on. 
welcome to Thursday. So what's on the agenda and what has me overwhelmed? Um, one, of course, like pain, right? The norm. I'm honestly not in as much pain today. Outside of my hair, y'all, my hair looks really crazy. It looks bananas. Okay, don't get distracted. But this weekend, we're doing my daughter's 10th birthday party um, at my house. Um, so that's number one. So that is Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, I haven't heard back from her friends that I invited. I also invited some other people. And then I was like, oh, I should also make goodie bags. But because I'm sustainable and I hate to have all of the, um, the trash and the garbage and stuff like that, I was like, oh... I still actually have some um, like canvas bags that are reusable that I could, you know, put a, a cute little saying on. And I was like, oh, I didn't design that so that I could go and have it printed um, so that I could have these DTF gang transfers printed and, or gang sheets printed. Um, Cause I was like, it's like a kind of camping, like s'mores type of party or whatever. And I came up with this cute little graphic and saying, and I was like, oh, I should absolutely just have it printed versus me doing all the vinyls because who has time for that? I haven't done that. So the first thing I've got to do when I open up my computer is check to see what their time is for them to ship that for me. Um, then I, for those that don't know, I have HS, which is hydrogenitis superativa, which is an autoimmune autoinflammatory disease, depending upon the day of the week and what doctors feel like classifying it as. Now I was invited to like this invitational, like, um, conference or whatever, but they didn't really keep me updated with like travel or, or itineraries and stuff like that. So I did, I wasn't able to make it because I had, um, my daughter's eighth grade dance at the same time, family first, no matter what. So, um, I lost that connection and, um, that was kind of influencing under the Ironica B. Cole, um, like brand, which is separate on Instagram. Um, and one of my girlfriends who is really big into anti-inflammatory, um, or inflammatory and education and stuff like that hit me up and was like, Hey girl, we've got something going on in Atlanta this weekend. Do you want to be involved? And I was like, of course, because even though I definitely applied for a job to go back to working in corporate, I did not get it. So I was like, you know what? The world must be saying, bitch, you're supposed to be out here being an entrepreneur. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going back to influencing, <laughs> which I never left, but like, I'm really putting, putting more effort towards it because I feel like after having the BRCA2 gene diagnosed, I was just like, whatevs, like... I just am trying to survive at this point in time. Um, so that is Friday night. They're going to a Braves game, which I do believe I'll go to. And I will not stay the entire time. One, I don't, even though I want my son to be a baseball player, like, yeah, I don't really like baseball. I don't like traffic. I don't like large groups of people. So like, why go? Because for your, you've got to meet people. You've got to network. You've got to do something different if you want something else different to be done. So that's what we're doing. Um, so that's Friday night. And again, today's Thursday. Um, so that's Friday night after I pick my kids up and stuff like that. Friday, tomorrow morning, I am teaching a class that's on fabric. Hello, my favorite topic in the world, which I'm super excited about. It's only a two hour class, so I'm okay with that. But, um, I'm also teaching all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm teaching the Layla Lounge set. I will include a link in the caption. Um, but before every class that I teach, I like to make the pattern um, and wear the pattern so that people get excited about what it is that they're about to make. Because sometimes with sewing, when things get hard, you're just like, F it, I'm not going to bother to finish. But if you see what you're making, I find that it motivates people a little bit more. Plus, it makes it easier for me to teach because even though I can read instructions or even look at pattern pieces and teach from there... Um, I like to be able to put it together one or two times to try out what the tutorial says versus what feels more comfortable for me as a creator. I'm teaching that class both Saturday and Sunday. Saturday's there from 2 to 6, 2 to 5 p.m. So they're two three-hour classes. Saturday morning, there's also something going on for the HS things in town. So needless to say, your girl's got a lot going on this weekend. On top of the fact that I'm in pain, on top of the fact that I don't feel 100%. So 
And then I know that the average person will be like, Veronica, why don't you just sit down? Because I don't know how to, because this is my trauma response from being a kid. Um, and it's like, oh, why don't you go to therapy? Because I haven't filled out the paperwork that <laughs> the therapist sent me so that I can get in for my sessions. I digress, but we're going to make it, we're going to make it through. Um, and who knows, maybe this might result in a vloggy vlog for the weekend of how I got all this shit done. Anyway, so I want to, for my daughter's birthday party, I want to prepare like a s'mores board, like a couple of s'mores boards because she loves sweets. So we're going to do pizza, keeping it simple. We're going to do pizza and we're going to do like a s'mores board. We've got a fire pit table in our, like on our patio. Um, so p her and her little friends will be able to roast s'mores. But then I was like, I also kind of feel like I should have something else out here. So now I've got to go and find, figure that piece out. That's, that's the piece that I feel like is weighing heavy on me. Cause we're just going to have music, et cetera, cake, obviously. And then I was thinking about making some s'mores themed, um, cupcakes. And this is kind of where my issue is, is because I don't know how to just like kiss, keep it simple because when it comes to my kids, like I always want it to be big, especially for my middle child, because she once told me, and this of course is like my toxic trait. You'll tell me one thing and I feel like you never grow from it. She told me one time that she always feels like unseen or ignored or not as included in the family. So I really try hard to make sure that she feels that way. And that we, f that she feels, um, our love and that, um, we celebrate her extraness because she's super extra. So I want to make sure that she feels that on her 10th birthday. Anyway, now that I've gotten that out, I feel a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and get started though. Okay, so hair is done. Y'all, we started out looking super rough. Shout out to that Bounce Curl brush again. I was going to do a little makeup, but all of my makeup brushes are currently being dried because in my ADHD uh, spell of trying to avoid to do the work that I had to do, I decided to wash my makeup brushes instead. So we're not doing makeup right now anyway. <laughs> it's noon. I've got to go downstairs, cut out the patterns. I'm making two versions of them. Um, and then I will likely just sew them tonight. I'm not going to stress myself out about that. I also went ahead and ordered, I ordered the, uh, DTF gang sheet so that I could make those custom bags for my daughter's birthday party. Um, and then I also have brainstormed different projects or different activities that they can do for the, the party. Um, uh, we're going to be playing a game of charades. So acting out that like little games in acting out things that have to do with like camping and stuff like that, whatever. Um, or we might just play Pictionary because your girl was just on Pictionary and they sent us home with the game. Um, so I've made some serious progress today, but I do, I still have not had coffee. Only thing I've had so, so far today is the water. I don't feel well. Every time I stand up, I'll walk around like my head is just like, it feels like I, I'm holding a lot of mucus in my head, which does not make me feel good. So I'm also going to see about having some tea, possibly. I don't know. I don't know. 
we're just gonna do something. Friday. <laughs> um, it's Friday morning. I'm getting ready to go teach. So I don't have much time. Gotta jump up, get dressed, get out the house in 15 minutes. Okay, so this is me chip choosing an outfit for the day. I had fully intended on taking you all with me all my day, but then I left my camera at home. So y'all, this is the end of this week's vloggy vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in.